has now come into turn 12 and into 13. We're trying to hold off Sergio Perez with P6 here. As now we go a, a bit wide into turn 13. And in the mirrors, I think Sergio Perez is gone. He spun off into the wall. Sergio Perez has spun off into the wall. Let's check the replay. And here we go. Yes, Sergio Perez has just tapped my rear tyre. And he's gone into the barriers. To let the light shine through for you. Hi guys, come on to me. Welcome to the F1 2013 Korean Motor Day. And we'll be doing the Spanish Grand Prix. It's round 5 of the Korean Mode. And uh, we're in Circuit de Catalonia today. And we're doing the Spanish Grand Prix. We qualified 14th once again in a wet quality. I'm really pissed off with the wet qualities this season. So if there was a dry quality, then I probably would have like gone, let's say, 10th maybe? I don't know. But, well, but, well, someone in the top 10, that's for sure, if I had it, if I had say that. But I decided to put on lap 7, just because, yeah. Uh, lap 7 is just a bit of pit stop. And lap 8, because my tyres go during the race. Is now, we're just looking at everything else now, going out on track for the Spanish Grand Prix. So here we are in the group for the Spanish Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton takes another pole position for Mercedes. Let's pull the rest of 13th and then me and 14th. We got uh, qualified by our teammate again. But we start right beside him on the grid. And now here we are on the grid here in Spain. 17 laps to come. As now we have one light, three, two lights, three, four, and five lights. And away we go for the Spanish Grand Prix. And it's a pretty bad start there from us. It's going down towards turn one. It's a long, long run down towards turn one. Who's down on the inside of me? I think it's uh, jean Verne Verne there. Going down towards turn one. Verne is up our side. Round the outside of Paul Resta. Not quite there, actually. Going on the inside of Paul Resta into turn two. Taking P13. Now on the inside of Daniel Ricciardo. And taking a move. But we had an illegal overtake on him there. So we had to take the position back. And now coming up the inside of Daniel Ricciardo once again. As Button is block Button is in the way as Ricardo who made contact with him there. As now Porter Resta Oh! So that's Maldonado. Now R Ricardo coming on the on the inside of Ricardo into turn five. Getting the move down into P12. We've already gained two places. As now Jensen Button is next up to pass ooh, from McLaren. As now coming into turn eight. And into turn nine. Absolutely cutting it, but who cares? I don't care. As now coming into turn 10, v Ricardo coming on the inside, but it got up the inside of Button. What a move that was on from a long way back, coming on the inside of Jensen Button into P11. As now coming onto turn 12 and on to the end of lap 2 of this Grand Prix. And now we're, right, we're behind Roman Grosjean now, down towards the chicane. We're going up the inside, and we look up the inside, and we get the move done on Roman Grosjean. That's a good move there. P10, and we skip on to the end of lap two, where we're on the back of Rosberg, and we go up the inside of Rosberg for P9, exactly the same move we did on Roman Grosjean there, and that's a good move from us. Now starting lap three of the Spanish Grand Prix, and now Rosberg is behind us, DRS is enabled in lap three, and look at Roman Grosjean on the inside of Rosberg, getting past in there, what a mo wow. Rosberg and Grosjean, but Rosberg does fight back. I think that's around the outside he went there. And Rosberg and Grosjean was a great battle. As now we're right behind Sergio Perez now. Moving on to lap 5 of the Spanish Grand Prix. Now coming down the straight. We set the fastest lap by 7 tenths of a second. Look, we go purple by 7 tenths. That'll be the fastest lap of the race. Thank you very much. 127.1. I know it's a pretty slow time, but you know... Cremo's 2013 performance, so I can't deal with it. 
Uh, coming into turn three, we're right behind Sergio Perez. Coming down towards turn four. Coming on the inside, yet yeah, looking up the inside. We're side by side, wheel to wheel. Down towards this corner, already four tenths purple. But can we go back down the inside of Sergio Perez into turn five? Yes, we're looking at it. We go down the inside into P8, but Perez holds it around the outside. What a move. Wow, Sergio Perez holds it around the outside. Lap 5 of 17 here in Spain. It's now coming into turn 9. We're right behind Sergio Perez. Can can we get him? Down towards the hairpin at turn 10. Here we go, coming around. He's defending the inside. We're going around the outside into the hairpin. Passing Sergio Perez around the outside. And that's a good move from us. As uh, now... We're watching the replay of Sergio Perez getting taken around the outside by me, and that's just clean around the outside. We're moving on to lap five, and we're coming back into the pits because our tyres were red, so we uh, pitted two laps earlier because we had to because our tyres were so gone. Now we're coming into the pits here in Spain, and now we're coming into the pits, changing our pit stop to prime tyres. It's a 3.2 second stop, pretty good from Force India. And we come out in 14th. Yeah, just about. Yeah, we're coming out in 14th. But it's going to be really close with Jules Bianchi here in the Marussia. It's going to be really, really close. But, oh, just get out ahead of him. We just get out ahead of Bianchi. And, uh, yeah, wow. P14 now 21. 21? 21 cars in the race now. Someone is out of the Spanish Grand Prix. Who could it be? Who is it? Who is out of this race? Let's check. And Jensen Button is out of the race. Look at that. Jensen Button has retired from the Spanish Grand Prix. That's one McLaren out of this race. And, uh, wow. Lap 8. We're moving on to lap 8 with two boring laps. This is pretty much a boring moment in the races now. Coming, And now there's people in the pit lane now. Is it, we're getting two places there on Dresta and Manado now. It's going to be really close to this uh, car here. Mercedes, I believe, is Nico Rosberg. Coming round the outside of him into P11. Now we're right on the back of Sergio Perez. Down towards turn two. And here we go. Oh no, Th that will be a pad glitch. Not my driving skills. That'll be a pad glitch. Think well done, pad, for doing that. And I'm round the outside of Rosberg. But we take P11 successfully. But can we get Sergio Perez? Coming down towards turn three and into turn four. We're we're getting a much better exit on him, we're right up the back of him, down towards turn 4, can we go on the inside, into turn 4, now coming on the inside, Perez is on the outside, can we get him, surely not, Perez is holding it round the outside, what a move by Sergio Perez, but now we're coming down towards turn 10, the hairpin, can we, can we go round the outside to the hairpin again, yes we can, wow, for P10, we get Sergio Perez, but what a move, this is, what a race, this is lap 9 of 17. Here in Spain, and Rosberg is right at the back of us now. So Rosberg has passed Sergio Perez. As now, moving on to lap 10 of the Spanish Grand Prix. And now someone's in the pits again. But I believe this is Valtteri Bottas. No, Valtteri Bottas just came out of the pits, I think. But is that that's Roman Grosjean, who's come out ahead of us there. Roman Grosjean has come out ahead of us. We're up into P9 now, after that uh, lap 10 now. And now moving on to the end of lap 11. And Rosberg is all over the back of us. Look at the speed he's got. Rosberg is diving up the inside. But he backs out of the move and we hold it around the outside. Lap 11 of this Grand Prix. And the fuel is minus two laps, which is weird. And I'm moving on to lap 12 in the same place, turn 9. The fast right-hander. As now coming down towards turn 9 and down towards the hairpin. And Rosberg is right on me. Right on me again. He's coming on the outside, but we have the inside line. Wow, Nico Rosberg is really fighting for this position from me. But can he get the position? That's the question now. As I'm coming into the penultimate corner now, into lap, onto lap 13 of the Spanish Grand Prix, we slide a bit there into turn 8. Rosberg will now get closer to us. He's looking up the inside into turn 9, but Rosberg sliding, and I think there's a collision. Yes, Rosberg has gone to the wall. Rosberg's in the wall. What's happened here? What has happened? Rosberg. Trying to come up the inside. He's touched my rear tyre. And Rosberg slides. He's Ros Rosberg has slid into Sergio Perez for the second time. They have collided this season. For the second time this season, Rosberg and Perez have collided. And that is horrible, horrible stuff. 
and because of that, we have, because of that, we think there was a big enough gap for us to pit and stay out in P9. But what a collision that was! Rosberg, a chain reaction crash into Sergio Perez, and they both spun out. And that's their second collision of the season after their collision in Australia at Turn One. This time they collide at Turn Nine in Spain. And now who's this? Valtteri Bottas. We're just about getting out of here of him into P9 and wow lap 14 and we stay out in P9 somehow but Valtteri Bottas is next up but nothing really happened on these last three laps as now coming around the final corner Lewis Hamilton wins his fourth race in this career mode and here we go around the final corner finishing in ninth place and there's 20 cars in the race so someone else retires there's two retirements in this Grand Prix what a race this has been here in Spain and our driver is happy because he finished 12th or above again and what a race this has been here in the Spanish Grand Prix. Wow. Lewis Hamilton wins once again for the fourth time this season. And we're just looking at our camera again. Ahead of Mark Webber in second and Sebastian Vettel in third. And then we have Fernando Alonso in fourth. And we have Nico Hulkenberg in fifth. Felipe Massa sixth. Kimi Raikkonen in seventh. Roman Grosjean in eighth. Me in ninth. Valtteri Bottas in tenth. Pastor Manada in eleventh. Paul Deresta finishes in 12th, uh, my teammate in the river of the world this way, ahead of Rosberg in 13th, then Ricardo, then Gutierrez, then Jean Verne, Jules Bianchi, Charles Pick, Guido van der Gaard, Max Schulten, and the two McLarens DNF, Sergio Perez and Jensen Button, both DNF from the race. At the Drivers' Championship, Lewis Hamilton leads by 15 points from Fernando Alonso in second, then Sebastian Vettel, um, uh, 36 points behind Lewis Hamilton, then Mark Webber, then Nico Rosberg, then Sergio Perez, the Jensen Boston and me and as you can see it actually started raining at the end of the race as well so yeah that was a dramatic end as now Kimi now Felipe Massa, Roman Grosjean, Nico Hulkenberg, so, uh, Esteban Gutierrez, Valtteri Bottas, Pastor Maldonado, Paul Resta and then we just and they just got cut off a bit as now Mercedes lead the constructors by 30 points from Ferrari there's Red Bull in third, McLaren in fourth, Lotus in fifth, Force India in sixth and Sauber then Williams and Toro Rosso then Marussia and the Caterham finishing last so hopefully you enjoyed the Spanish Grand Prix. My driver is once again happy, just like in Bahrain, the same celebration. But what a race this has been, the Spanish Grand Prix. It's been one of the classics. This has probably been the best race so far. It's just had the madness. This race, what a race this has been. So I hope you enjoyed the Spanish Grand Prix round five from the career mode. And hopefully you enjoyed it. See you guys on my next video. Please like, comment and subscribe. And goodbye.